HubSpot tickets are the ideal way to track things like customer service issues, onboarding status for new customers and new members, all kinds of other customized uh, you know, processes within your organization. Today, we're going to look at how to create a new ticket board and how to create customizations around it. So right now, I'm in my HubSpot portal under the Service tab and then Tickets. If you go to Board Actions right here and hit this Edit Stages, this is going to take us over to the Settings section of the tickets here. And so the first thing we can do is we're going to actually create a new pipeline. So you can make a whole new ticket board. We're just going to say New Ticket System for now and say Create. And now you'll see we have new statuses right here for our different tickets. We can add another status. We can rearrange these statuses. We can have open or closed statuses here. If there's like a follow-up task, that's an additional closed stage, let's say. For now, we're just going to leave this be. <clears throat> the other thing we can do is create automations between these, sta these statuses. So let's say a new ticket comes in. When we're waiting on a contact, let's say, we could create an automation that says after three days, we're going to send them a notification. If you want to do something like that right here, you can see it's already set up for you in HubSpot. An email is going to be sent to customer. We can create a workflow right there that does exactly that. We're going to send them an email. <clears throat> There's other automations and you can customize here always, you know, based on date stamp, based on who a contact owner is. So we notify the internal team. Hey, we're still waiting on this ticket. You notify the sales or the account person. Let them know to look at it. I'm going to jump over to this tab now, this record customization. And here's where we can actually take some of that ticket information and decide how are we going to see it. So the first place, these cards, this is the associated record. So if I'm looking at a contact and I see their ticket, this is what's going to show up there. This is going to be the contact records view of what ticket properties are visible. I can click into the ticket and see all of them. But I can also pick what are the one or two or three properties that are going to show up right here. So see the default, we have time open, ticket owner, and ticket status. But this could be any of our different ticket properties, the default ones from HubSpot, or custom properties that we create along the way. I'm going to leave those be just for now. Another place we can customize this is on the board view. So when we're looking at all our tickets, what are the primary properties we need to see right there? And we can create those. And the final place is in the sidebar. So this is the detail view of the actual ticket. We're looking at the section to say, you know, this is the create date. This is the high or low priority. This is perhaps, you know, what the status is. We can create a custom section within there that says, you know, these are, you know, the properties my team needs to see the most often. You can also create a whole separate sidebar. So say there's a very technical team. We're going to say our tech team is going to only see, you know, these properties that are most relevant to them. Same thing for, say, an account owner or a salesperson. Perhaps they're going to only see relevant, you know, ticket properties to, to them. <clears throat> the last place we're going to look here is in the setup. And so here's where we can actually create those custom properties we've been talking about. If we need to make new uh, ticket properties, we can also uh, customize what are the default uh, you know, pieces we're going to set. What are the properties we're going to set every time that we create a ticket? The other place we can create tickets is from workflows. Uh, you can take a, you know, a look at some of the other, other videos to see how do we create a ticket from a workflow. Thanks so much for watching.